One pesky thing about sewing is threading the needle. A trick that I learned is to put your thread in the groove in the front of the needle, slide it down, and it will go right into the eye every time. When using the machine embroidery hoops that are wooden, sometimes your fabric doesn't stay in there very tightly. If you'll wrap your inside hoop with clear elastic, it will make it tacky and it'll really help you on your way to more successful machine embroidery. When doing any kind of decorative stitching, you really need to use stabilizer. My favorite is a medium weight tear away stabilizer. It's easy to tear off and even if you don't get it off, you can leave little bits in. It won't make any difference. Try it. I think you'll like it too. As your coach, I want to show you a sneaky way to improve your game in potluck applique. Instead of using freezer paper shapes as your pattern, just pick a fabric that has a motif. Put your background fabric face down, take your motif fabric, put it face down, stitch from the back and cut away, and then the fabric company will have done all your work for you. That's a touchdown. Just like athletes wear protective gear, shears could use some too. You might want to think about getting a Teflon pressing sheet or a Teflon iron shield to help protect the shears from melting. Look for these in your local store. Your quilting store, that is, not the sporting goods store. When I first started doing bobbin drawing, people told me to adjust the screw inside a baggie. Have you ever tried to work inside a baggie? That's for the birds. I prefer to use a magnetic pincushion. Then, if the screw goes out of bounds, I can always trap it and get it right back where it belongs. If you have a removable bobbin case, here's an insider tip you'll appreciate. When you have a really thick thread in your bobbin, flip the bobbin over and put it through the tension. Then you eliminate the U-turn that the thread has to make. I'll take any help I can get. Thanks, coach.